What's going on, guys? Welcome to Cinefellas. I am Kevin Muller, and I am one of the contributors here. And I am here to talk about the Royal Hotel. I'll take it. Right. Get the pipe lights started. Thank you. All right. Now, in 2020, I had seen a movie called The Assistant. It was directed and written by Kitty Green, and it starred Julia Garner. Now, a lot of you probably know uh, Julia Garner from Ozark or Inventing Anna, which she won a lot of awards for both those shows. I myself have never seen those two shows. My love for Julia Garner is basically based upon The Assistant. I thought it was a very quiet performance filled with a lot of rage that she could not let out. You know, just go see that movie. It's on Max. It's on Hulu. In this movie, Julia Garner is now co-starring with Jessica Henwick. Now, Jessica Henwick, you guys may remember, is from Iron Fist. She was one of the best parts of that show. Here they play Liv and Hannah. Now, if I had to break down their personalities, Liv, who Henwick plays, is a lot more fun, easygoing, and more outgoing than Hannah, who Garner plays. They are two young girls in Australia. And they run out of money and they go to a job placement in the city of Sydney and they are placed in a mining town full of men and they are working in the hotel and specifically the bar. And the job placer says, listen, <clears throat> this place is filled of miners. This place is mostly men. You're going to get hit on this. Be prepared. They're desperate. They're like, OK, whatever, we'll do it. They get to the town. And what I like that Green does here is she paints a very realistic version of men's conversations. You know, these guys don't care that these two girls are here. You know, men with a little more manners, a gentleman, gentleman this will would basically watch what they say in front of these girls. No, not not these guys. These guys don't care. They just want to drink. They want to have fun. They want to sing. They want to fight. You know, everything that goes on in a degenerate bar that you can think of happens in this place. And this bar is run by Billy. Billy is played by Hugo Weaving, doing his normal native Australian accent. He's a drunk. He has no control over his life. Him and his wife have a very broken marriage. She basically, most of the movie has to take him away to his trail outside the bar slash hotel and put him to bed because he is just, he's too drunk to stand. You know, it's a pathetic performance, but, you know, Hugo Weaving is the man and, you know, you basically feels some type of sympathy for him. Now, the girls are, of course, messed with. There are many occasions where the the C word, I'll call it, is uttered in jokes, in stories, and one of the guys actually calls one of them the C word. As the movie progresses, the tension builds, and this is something that Kitty Green does very well. You feel for these girls. These girls are obviously in danger. They have nowhere to go. There are many wide shots of the surrounding area, and they are in the rural outback desert of Australia. There is nothing around these girls, and that adds into the fear of what you're feeling for these two characters, because these characters, despite their flaws, you know, Julia, um, I'm sorry, uh, Hannah is very reserved. She could be a sarapus. And Liv can be a little more outgoing, but you you know, they're flawed characters, but they're good people. Um, You feel for them. You feel the tension. You feel the uneasiness. You don't know what's going on with some of these guys at this bar. You know, they some of them look very friendly, but then later in the movie, they turn out not so friendly. I've really enjoyed the tension building in this movie. It's a little slow. It's not something that is by the minute thrills. You know, if you're looking for that, you may be disappointed, but I did not think it was a slow burn. I was very invested in this film and it's shot beautifully. It's directed beautifully. The acting is very good. Both those girls individually are good and together their friendship is very convincing. Uh, Garner, in my opinion, is a little bit better, but that's not taken away from Henwick. Henwick is very good. And I hope she's in more movies. I enjoyed her in the few that I've seen her in. And with Liv, you feel basically, as I said, you feel her cautiousness, her anxiety. It's very well done. It's very well done from a directing standpoint. And it's also very well done from obviously Garner, who, in my opinion, is one of the best new actresses out there. And I hope she just keeps building her resume. There's a rumor that 
she's going to play Madonna, and I definitely think she would knock it out of the park. Anyway, one thing I did not really care about this movie was the ending. There's, as I keep saying, there's a lot of tension in this movie, and it builds and builds and builds. And I thought the ending was a little off. Some women and some men may like the ending and how abrupt it is, but I kind of felt that it didn't fit the whole entire narrative and the whole entire tone of this film. But, you know, either way, this is a very good movie. It's a independent movie. It's a little smaller. It's going to probably disappear from the theaters in about a week. I had to go a little further out to see this one. And one more thing, I'd like to give a shout out to Daniel Henschel. He is Dolly. Dolly is the most slimy, creepy guy in that bar. And he messes with them, especially Liv. He really messes with her and you feel her. You feel just like her anxiety and you just feel absolute disgust for this guy. Very good performance. Very, very good performance. Overall, this is, in my opinion, not as good as The Assistant, but it is a step in the right direction. It's not a sophomore slump or a sophomore strikeout. I'm very interested to see what Kitty Green keeps doing. I know she has a catalog of films before The Assistant I'll probably check out, but I also want her to team up with Garner again. They just, they work very well together. They're very good together. And hell, bring Henwick. Henwick was very good too. I would love for these three to do something else together. That's the point. But in the end, um, Despite the ending, I did enjoy this movie, and I will give this one three and a half out of five <laughs> Julia Garner hair pieces. Did you disagree with me? Did you like the ending? Did you not like the whole thing? Did you think it was boring? You know, please watch this video, reply underneath, come to the site. We're currently doing uh, 31 Days of Horror here. I am going to revisit the Scream series and review them. You know, just the original three, in my opinion, that's like the original, that's the real scream to me. But anyway, as we say in this site, I am Kevin and cheers.